today I'm going to talk about a development history of Back to the Future ride. So, for example, the idea of a Back to the Future based ride was first discussed in a 1986 meeting between Steven Spielberg and MCA Planning and Development Peter N. Alexander on the Universal Studios Hollywood backlot on the eve of the debut of the King Kong encounter scene for the part studio tour, Spielberg recalled how his friend George Lucas had just taken him for a ride on Lucas Star Tours ride at Disneyland telling Spielberg that Universal could never do a Star Tours. Spielberg requested that Alexander see what he could do with a do with Back to the Future. At the time, the proposed concept of the Universal Studios Florida project was put on hold and considered to be dead. And according to Alexander, Spielberg's suggestion helped to bring the project back to life. And planning for the ride began in 1988. A roller coaster was the original concept for a Back to the Future ride. I think it would have been like really cool as a roller coaster, but they said, yeah, that's so stupid, and they scrapped it. However, the designers realized it would be too hard to effectively tell a story due to the fast motion. The second concept of a simulator ride and ultimately came to fruition Riders with board motion based vehicles modeled after the DeLorean featured in the films and watch a film project onto a large dome shaped IMAX screen during the development of the ride. The designers traveled with foam models of the DeLorean to the Expo Center in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where an um, in Emax Theater was the setting for the for trial runs of the ride's film, and Tamman was eventually con tra contracted to develop the ride system for the attraction. The ride was first publicly announced in February 1989, well, I wasn't even born yet, as one of the many ones being added as part of the new Universal Studios Florida theme.
the part scheduled for opening in mid-1990 in, in July 1989, it was announced as a 1991 addition to Universal Studios Hollywood. Construction problems caused the attractions at both parks to have delayed openings. The one at Universal Studios Florida officially opened on May 2nd, 1991, costing $40 million. So that's how much it cost back in the early 90s. Foundation issues for the Universal Studios Hollywood attraction delayed its opening to June 12th, 1993, resulting in the total cost of it being put at $60 million. And that's the history of the development of Back to the Future Ride. And also another true story I also want to share with my experience that when I was younger, yes, I have been on Back to the future the ride and I thought it was awesome and amazing and that was before it was replaced by the Simpsons ride because also another fun fact so it was cost like 60 million to put because it was replaced by Battle of Galactica before at the upper lot. And make sure to comment below of what was your experience of riding Back to the Future ride at Universal Studios Hollywood or Florida and why? And again, just be honest what you thought about it. And did you thought it was a cool ride back then? And before I go again, I also want to make this episode for Back to the Future fans. And yes, I'm also a Back to the future fan too but it's not just me it's also a lot of people that are a big fan of that 80s film and that's all for my show today and make sure to click like on the bottom below don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the bell for more notifications and that's all for my show today, and see you next time.